Hey everybody, we're gonna play around with some loops in this lesson. Um, first, I wanted to show you this uh, in case you're in for up for some light reading. Uh, fourth, I believe this fourth.com is the like the official fourth website, like by, by like Charles Moore, the guy who created fourth, like his company, I, I think. So anyway, uh, they have this section, the Journal of Fourth Application Research Archives, and it's it's got a bunch of PDFs you can download and read here. Um, and this website actually has some book, like ebooks and stuff that you can read for free. I believe the starting fourth is free. Uh, the ebook version of it, PDF. Yeah, you can download the PDF there. But uh, so some of these are pretty cool though. Even just scrolling through the titles of these is kind of cool. Like um, there's some white, pa they're white papers basically. A state space approach to robotics, control of a Cartesian robot, robotic application for contamination free assembly. That's pretty cool, some stuff that they're doing with fourth. So anyway, uh, let's look at some loops. So the two loops, uh, types of loop we're gonna look at are uh, f basically, they're named a little bit different in fourth, but for and while loops. So the for loop in fourth is called a do loop, and the while loop is called a begin and till loop. Um, so the do loop, let's do that first. Uh, so loops, uh, you, you define, you, they have to go in a word, just like, um, just like conditional logic, like if statements or if expressions, they, they have to happen in a word. So uh, let's just write this and then I'll explain what it's doing. <clears throat> okay, so uh, so the do in the the do marks the beginning of the you know like the code bracket. So for I in ten or something, you know, say we're in JavaScript or any kind of C based language, it's going to look like that. And this is the code that gets executed, you know, while that while everything's lining up right, while while the conditions are met. Uh, basically in, in fourth, just like with if expressions, the first word, the first keyword starts the beginning of the body. And then the second keyword, which is loop in this case, marks the end of the body, uh, the code that's going to get executed. So with this word, we put a 10 on the stack and then we put a zero on the stack. This do I looks at the top two values on the stack. Um, it takes the, the top value on the stack, which is zero, and then um, it sets i to, uh, to zero, and then i, then the loop increments until it hits the sec, the, this value on the stack, 10 in this case. So, uh, this is going to increment by one. Uh, so it's going to start with zero. So it's going to go high and then it's going to um, drop, which, oh, it, that drops, uh, I think it drops the value on the stack and then it looks at the next value on the stack and, you know, keeps incrementing. So here's what we get, get 10 highs. Um, so that's basically, you know, that's the for loop, um, pretty simple. And then there's the while loop, which is, I, I, this one's more fun to me for some reason, but anyway, uh, while loops to me, they make, they make more sense in most cases. I guess it depends on what you're doing, but, um, they're just, they're like simpler or something. Uh, you don't have to have an incrementer, I guess is what I, what I kind of like. So. Uh, the begin until loop um, keeps looping until, let me make sure I'm saying this right. So until the value on the top of the stack is true, which means it's anything except zero. If it's zero, um, then it keeps looping. If it's not zero, then the loop stops. So that's why uh, in the body of this, we keep setting we keep putting a zero on top of the stack. Um, so 
let's uh, so right now let's put a 10 on the stack and then do our loop test and you can see it, it loop down put a 11 on the stack do our loop test you can see it goes from you know so we could put 20 loop test and it's just going to increment down by one so here's what here's what's going on there um, so it looks at the top value on the stack and it says is it zero um, if it's not zero then it moves on so it goes it puts a one on the stack and it subtracts whatever's on the stack from one so 10 or subtracts one from what's ever on the stack so it's 10 minus one is nine then it duplicates that nine so that there's two nines on the stack duplicates it again so there's three nines on the stack pops one off and prints it to the terminal so now there's two nines on the stack puts a zero on the top of the stack so now it's nine nine zero on the stack and then it looks um, it doesn't uh, an equal just to get it to be zero so basically it's saying uh, is this value equal to zero and since it's not uh, we say no it's not so then there's a zero on the stack and since it's, then it hits that until which looks and says okay it's zero still so uh, we will keep looping we'll take the zero off loop again and then, you know puts the one and then it subtracts the one from the nine which is an eight then we duplicate that uh, and then we print one of them to the terminal and we put a zero see if it's eight and zero are equal they're not so we get a zero which is false and you can see where how it keeps looping through there so just as a fun little uh, project I guess mini project uh, I'm gonna get get you guys kind of started on this and then you can do it if you want or you don't really have to but um, this is a uh, way of of seeing the ASCII codes getting a list of, of ASCII codes for letters um, so it's just kind of a little program I put together and I'm sure you can improve on it and if you do you know maybe throw something in the comments on the video or something it's not going to be a huge program but I'm just going to go up to D you could go all the way you know A through Z if you want uh, and I'll explain what this is doing here all right so we have our word it's uh, defined it's ASCII's and uh, let's run it so you see, so 100 is the uh, ASCII value for D, 99 is for C, 98 is B. So you, we have a table there, or kind of like a, a guide or a cheat sheet showing the ASCII values. So if I put, uh, let me see what's on the stack now, just a bunch of zeros. All right, so if I put um, 99 on the stack and then do an emit, it should give me C. Uh, if I put 98, emit B. So emits, you know, converts the number to an ASCII value to, or to a letter, ASCII letter. Um, so let's go back to that uh, word. All right. So, uh, oh, this is interesting. It shows, so that car A, what that does is it puts, it take, it puts the number the ASCII number of that letter um, onto the stack. So you can see we put the zero on the stack and then we put 97, which is A, and then we put 98, 99, 100, and then we, be we begin our loop. And uh, the first thing we do is a carriage return, which you know just moves it to the next line down, new line basically. And then we duplicate twice the value on the stack. So let's let's see. So we're starting with 100, right? So now we have three 100s on the stack, which is D. And we have, you know, these are b below that too. But uh, right now we're just working with those. So, uh, and then we 
pop one of them out, print it to the terminal. And then we have uh, the zero equals, so we put a zero on the stack, and then we do the equal, which looks and see is 100 equal to zero. It's not, so we just it just puts a zero there. The until looks, and it says, okay, is it a zero? If it's a zero, then yeah, we'll, we'll do the loop again. Uh, so then it, since it's zero, uh, then it's gonna, Oh, the emit took one of the hundreds up. This emit took another hundred off the stack too. So, so basically the stack's empty by the end of that, uh, or the hundred from the stack is empty. So then we have you know our 99, 98, 97. Uh, it's 97, 98, 99. Um, so we'll go through this one more time just to explain it again. So, so that's what's on the stack. At the beginning of the loop, we do the carriage return, which moves us down a line on the in the console. Then we duplicate the top value twice. Then we print it, print the top value to the terminal. So that takes off one. Then we emit, which uh, puts the character of the value, right? So that puts the C. And then uh, we put a zero and we say our 99 and zero equal, and that's a zero. The until looks and says, okay, it's a zero, we'll pop that zero off, and then we'll go back to the begin. Goes back to the begin and starts over and keeps going. So, I don't know, I just thought that was a fun little handy program if you wanted a chart of ASCII characters. Um, so, which could be a, what could be useful in a, in a uh, low level, systems level type language like Forth. So, uh, in the next video, um, we're going to look at something that you typically would look at first in uh, when you're learning programming languages, and that's variables and constants. So uh, with fourth, they're not as important as like the stack, basically. So uh, so we don't look at them till a little bit later, but it'll be just as fun anyway. So thanks for watching, and peace out.